A long time ago, someone gave us ancestry tests for Paul, me, my parents, my grandparents for Christmas. And so we ended up doing them. Sadie has wanted to get hers for a very long time. And she actually saved up her allowance and we sent it in not that long ago. I went through it pretty quickly and we got the results yesterday. And she has been asking about it almost daily. She just, she's really fascinated with the history of different countries. She's really fascinated. She's really fam fascinated with family history, and so she wanted to know where she was from. Okay, I think a little bit of it was the whole frozen thing, and she knows that I got four percent Norwegian, and that was a little part of it too. And Paul got three, four percent, or three percent Swedish. Anyways, so we got the results, and this is me telling Sadie her results. Spider. Oh, guess what? I got your I got your ancestry results. Well, what were they? I will tell you tonight. <gasps> tell me right now. Tell me, darling. No. Okay, so why did you want to do Ancestry? Because I'm curious. You're curious? Okay. So what do you think the results are going to be? Um, 3% Norwegian, 3% Swedish. Can you please tell me I got that right? Oh, uh, keep going. I'll tell you once you um, tell me everything. 50% Irish, 20% English, 30, 12% Ashkenazi Jewish, and I think that's it. Okay, you were close. So, let me let me double check on the phone to make sure I have it right when I'm telling you everything. It came in yesterday, but let's see. Okay, so, 43% yeah, yeah. England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe for your number one. Cool. So, like me. Wales? Mm-hmm. Is that even in place? Yes. Okay. It is a small country that is part of the United Kingdom. Touches England. Okay. Um, forty percent Ireland and Scotland, particularly from Ulster, which we already knew from Daddy's family. Mm -hmm. Um, fourteen percent European Jewish. Okay. And three percent Swedish. Okay. So you did not get the Norwegian from me, but you got the Swedish from Daddy. Okay. And that is it. Oh. Here, you can see it right here if you want to. At least. Okay. So it was kind of similar to what you thought it would be. Oh, and it did confirm 100% your dad's your dad and 100% I'm your mom. It did show all your grandparents. Okay. It had like all the, because all of us have done it too. It should. What's for Manny? Yeah. A part of Ireland. Hmm. I run London Dairy and Antrim. Dad actually can tell you how to say that. It's just, it's not like that. Oh, hello, little bunny. Hi. You find a spot in the shade? As your sister walks away with my phone. What is she doing? Can you imagine my excitement when I told Dad that... What is English have, was slightly more than Irish. How come it has all the other countries in it? Oh, those are the regions. So, so it shows where the Irish part and the English regions and Swedish. Swedish, yep, where different parts could come from because they aren't quite as nailed down as like countries. They're more like regions. Hmm. Was it what you thought it would be? German. I guess you didn't get the 10%. I'm only 10% German, so you didn't get that from me. At least on the test. Do you think Walner is Irish? No, your Walner is from your um, Ashkenazi Jewish side. Although it's Irish. It's definitely not Irish. No, it's Swedish. <laughs> it's definitely... Boys. It's definitely not Swedish. Tell them what I am. What? I'm mostly English. 
that is it. It was just kind of something fun to do, especially after we had all the very much less fun genetic res genetic testing that we had gone through with Tessie, and it was fun to have Sadie get to do it too, especially because she was actually using Duolingo to learn Swedish, and so and so I think it was cool for her to get that little test result back with her 3%. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for today. If you like this video, we'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in what we usually talk about around here, which is all things autism, we'd love it if you'd hit subscribe. And I can't wait to show you Maggie's room after the makeover. They're putting in brand new flooring and they're, she's going to get a new bed with a slide. And I can't wait to show it to you. Anyways, 